with Sarah and I'm back I am still working with the wire and I wanted to show you the finished I just hammered out this black metal I guess it's aluminum um, I got all these today because it it's I just I mess up too much and so I needed more <laughs> I don't mess up that much but I just wanted to get it and have it on hand I want to make bigger things so anyway so far I've got the one I did yesterday with you guys is it was in copper I think this is aluminum but it's like the gold color aluminum remember we like hammered it and I did that like um it's like diamond cutting you know I did that to it and I ended up putting red beads on it and I love the way it turned out it's really cool um, you know I'm a beginner I have to say like I can tell the way I uh, wired these on and then the angle at these it's like not I, I should have tipped this up like you know I'm gonna figure it out I don't know I think it was because I was going in the same direction and then I did another one tonight uh, I got these gold beads. The beads were still on sale at Michael's, 70% off. So I grabbed these. It's the same type of pack. It's this. It has, I think these were like two bucks, but it has four different sizes of the same color of the, of the blank. So I got the blue, dark blue, I mean the light blue. I got dark blue, and then I'm going to do pink on the black. I got clear, and this is kind of like, I don't know what color smoke smoke pink eh I don't know it looked goldish but anyway um these were just they're not clear the gold ones but they definitely are when when I hold it up a lot they're diamond cut so the it definitely refracts the light and I did it on a silver colored aluminum um so I made it two-tone and I used like the gold wire to wrap it and I used a little bit of like a silver bicone. It turned out pretty good. Again, I can tell, look, the same thing happened here. Evidently, when I'm wrapping in one direction, <laughs> it, I mean, they're identical. It's so funny. Look, look at, I don't know if you can even tell. Oops, I don't want to twist it. But like you can tell the, the bottom beads. Anyway, and also the heart, it, it's totally different shaped because I did it on the jig. I showed you in the previous video if you want to see. Um, so I'm going to see how the black one, which where is it? I just did another one using the same jig. I hammered this one too because it was flat. I want to show you what it looked like. This is what it looked like before I hammered it. And now it's flat and not as shiny. Um, but let's see what shape it is. Ooh, it's definitely a little more like the first one. <coughs> Excuse me. This one got squished this way instead of being longer. So anyway, I'm just hanging them around. And boy, it's blingy though. When I the light hits it over there, and the red is so pretty. Anyway, so I figured I'd try a black one. And I'm going to use the silver wire. And this time, I think I'm just going to use this. It's 24 gauge. I'm not going to switch back and forth from 24 to 26. What I've been doing is when I do, like, um, the connectors or, you know, the dangles, I've been using a little bit thicker wire. Um, and then when I do the wrapping, I'm going to use the thinner wire. But I'm just going to do the whole thing with this and see what happens. And I'm going to use these pink beads. So I'm just going to show you a little bit. Let's see. I think I did this last night, though. I just wrapped right here um, with this silver. And then I'm going to need to wrap up here and put a loop of, uh, I'm going to put a bicone. i got to find some pink bicones. But I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm, I'm going to do that at least. And that's it. Um, so I'm going to get like... I don't need that much wire for this. Uh, I'm going to just get like five inches. And basically, I just want to not overlap these. So I want them to be just like side by side. And I'm just going to hold. First, I'm going to like make a little fold in it. And then I'm going to hold, I'm going to put it across um, through the wire like this. 
and then I'm just going to like hold it. Come on. It's a little fudgy. I don't think I should do a tutorial until I really get good at it because it's really hard to do on camera because I'm so focused. All right. So then I'm just going to start wrapping. Probably use using, um, for the little side, it's easier to use like a, what are these called? Needle nose, are they? Needle nose pliers? I don't know. But I just want to get this little end secured, and then I can wrap easier with the um, longer end. But this got twisted, so that doesn't look good. I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to cut it at the back. So I don't, I don't like the way it, it, it crimped kind of. Okay, but that's like adhered on there. I could, I could probably uh, push it down a little. I'll do it from this angle. There, just get it on there. I'm going to push it together. I kind of want to cover this whole, I'm going to use this whole wire. It won't move. Come on, come on, wiggle, wiggle. I want to move it up a little so I can, um, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Because there's, it's quite a bit of space this time. The way I shape the heart, oop, I'm got, I'm losing my, I don't want to lose the shape. I'm so rough on things. Okay. So I'm just going to gently loop it through. And the, the idea is when you're wrapping, you want the wraps to lay next to each other like this. You don't want them to be all over each other and weird or like that. So that's it. That's the basic idea. Um, and I pull so hard, like I'm very rough. So I'm trying to, I'm just going to keep practicing, you guys. And basically the mistakes that are on here are... It is what it is, and I'm just going to, you know, it's handmade, and I'm at beginner level for sure, so um, that stuff will show, and as I improve, you know, oh, I want to show you something else I made today, so this is, see how it's covering, this is the back, because I can see where I cut the wire, so I think I'm going to stop there, I'm going to cut it again, like you just cut it kind of in half, and then you smoosh it down, and that's it, but like, see, I could have gone a little, uh, a little bit more, but I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to be happy with that, it's fine, all I'm doing is trying to like squish them together more, all right, so that's my frame, and I'm going to be using, um, silver and black and pink pink silver and black I just feel like I need to cut this I don't know I don't like this I'm, I'm leaving it okay but look what I made today this is a bookmark and uh, you know my my these things what are they called like my little swirls they're getting a little better but they're still super wonky so I have a lot of work to do this was a big one but that's a little uh, bookmark, like you would just slide it over the book. I don't know how tight it is anymore. Um, I made these flowers. This is another tutorial. I only, I didn't have very many of these type of beads, which are like, uh, I think they're called briolet or something. And you can see how they're kind of pointing in a direction. <laughs> but I mean, for a first try, I'm, I'm okay with it. And then I had the, this one. These are like pointy little they're clear but I mean it's a flower so you figure I could put little flowers like I could probably put it right here in the middle of that you know who knows I'm gonna try and just get a collection of a bunch of stuff it's like doing a mixed media piece oh I want to try a moon shape um, let's do it I'm gonna try a moon shape in the silver I don't know how to uh, let's see this is much thinner than this. I want to use the thicker one. So I'm just going to take about, I think like, 
probably 12 inches is fine. I'm going to go with 16. And you know, I could probably use my jig to do it, but I'm trying to make things a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to hand shape this. I think I'm going to make, oh boy. I should probably use, but see, that's a decent curve. And then this has to be, ooh, see, this is tricky. It's definitely going to have to go, ooh, you know what? I'm going to grab this can. Sorry, I have like a paint can behind me. And I'm going to try and keep it on that because I do not want to lose the roundedness and get it all mangled. Like I kind of did already. All right, look at that. That's a nice... Now, I kind of want to match that, but in a smaller, so I'm just pinching that, and, oh, I should just use the can, shouldn't I? I don't know, maybe a smaller can, because it's got to fit into the, this is my first attempt. <laughs> oh, oh, I think it's looking like a moon. It's kind of looking like a moon. And I think I will make like a swirly right here. I'm going to try and pinch this a little like tighter right here. Once you hammer it, it'll stay in position. <gasps> Does this look moony? Kinda. Ooh, ooh, wait. Ooh, ooh. I think I did something good. Like, I tipped the tip up a little. And then this probably should go down more. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that? Alright. I'll, go, I'll play with it off camera, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a, a, a moon. Because I have like I have these little uh, moon and star charms. I got a bunch of stuff today. So, anywho. Um, so, to make this little connector, I'm going to use that same wire. Can't find it. It's in a little box. And I also have this. This is 20 gauge. This might be good, but I'm, I'm going to use that. I told you I was going to use the same wire for the whole thing. Ooh, Joe made this on the X, or what's it called? The X Tools. I think it's called the X Tools. Tool X, X Tool. It's like a different kind of glow forge. But look at that. It's a bit different. It has a cooling thing, and I don't know. He's been playing around. I got to find my wire. Oh my God, if, I, if it had teeth, it would bite me. That's what my mom used to say. <laughs> um, but anyway, all right, I'll let you guys go. I'll bring the other, the other ones into the shot because I'm really not good at tutorials yet with this. But this is the gold one that I made tonight. And then this is the red one. I looked for more hummingbirds and I didn't find them today. Not at Michael's anyway. So I'm going to do the black one with pink. And look, I got dragonflies. Look at that. <gasps> Black and gold would be really good, too. Oh, man, I'll have to decide what color I'm going to do. All right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.